Hi, and welcome to today's episode of Ask the Roofer. Today we're talking about shingle roof systems versus metal roof systems. I know that Pelican installs shingle roof systems and metal roof systems. Aside from the look, what are the main differences and why are homeowners choosing one over the other? Uh, well, you mentioned the look. That's a lot of times one of the main deciding factors because they do look so different. Um, I guess there could be instances where someone's like, I really love the look of this shingle and I really love the look of this metal. But most of the time, that's going to be the deciding factor. Um, outside of, of the aesthetics, you know, you've got one that's a real shiny, reflective thing. Maybe there's screws showing on the system on the metal roof versus uh, an asphalt roof that uh, looks a little more homey a lot of times. It's, it's made the profiles of a, of a shingle are typically made to resemble the old cedar shake uh, type roofs that go back 100 plus years. So that usually is, is what makes the decision for someone. Outside of that, there's a couple of other factors. Uh, number one is performance. And on a metal roofing system, uh, you're gonna get an added 30, maybe up to 50 mile per hour wind rating compared to that of uh, an architectural shingle roof. So it's gonna withstand those hurricane winds better than a shingle roof will. And, uh, and then outside of that, just the, the durability, how long the, the roof lasts. And you're gonna get 10, 15, maybe 20 plus more years out of that metal roofing system compared to, uh, or, or depending on what type of metal what type of coating is on it, et cetera. So with that performance, that added performance comes an added price. And oftentimes that will be a deciding factor for uh, building owners or homeowners. Is there a big price difference between the two? It's pretty considerable. Um, you know, real, real rough rule of thumb is one and a half times. Sometimes it's a little bit less than that. And then of course it depends on the type of metal you install because some metal can get very expensive. And so um, I have a chart that I created whenever we do um, lunch and learns, et cetera, for realtors or property managers that show the cost of these roofing systems. And maybe we can supply that uh, in this video here. And so it outlines the, the price differences between a couple of shingle roofs as well as the metal and compares not only the price per square to install but it factors in that durability and uh, its useful life to give a cost per year okay what are the differences between the shingle systems and then the, the two metal systems so there's uh primarily two shingle systems that are installed the the most the most common, and, and this, is, this has become more and more common over the last decade, is an architectural shingle. Many people have heard this. Some people, especially in other parts of the country, call it a dimensional shingle. An architectural shingle, it's made of the same material as a three-tab shingle. Uh, however, uh, an architectural shingle has, has two layers to it. And it's, it's also called a laminated shingle because the two layers are laminated together in the factory. The end result or product of that is a heavier, thicker shingle. It has up to like 130 mile per hour wind rating compared to on a three tab, which is going to be 60 mile per hour on the wind rating. It's gonna be one strip, it's not laminated. It looks more flat, it's not dimensional. So you don't get that, that kind of 3D look on the roof as much. So many people find the architectural shingle to be more attractive, it has better performance. <clears throat> It's going to last an extra roughly, you know, seven to 10 years over a three tab most of the time, depending on weather, wind, hail, all of that. But generally it's going to last about a decade longer and it's more expensive, but it's not more expensive by a lot. Those are usually homeowners are usually surprised at the cost difference between those two systems. They're looking to say, they say, give me a price on a three tab system and they come to find out that that $14,000 architectural roof is only 12, five or 13,000 for a three tab, but you get an extra decade for that small price increase. That's the difference between the two shingles that we install most commonly. On the metal side, 
there's exposed fastener systems and hidden fastener systems. Um, what you see on a shop, a metal building on the walls as well as on the roof, what you'll see on a lot of houses in the country, uh, in industrial areas, these are exposed fastener systems meaning they put a metal panel on the roof and you screw right down into it and the end product is the metal panels and you see the little screws. The untrained eye may not know this, but if you start to look at it, you can see the screws on the roof. Uh, those, are, those are less expensive than a standing seam roof or a hidden fastener system. These, are, these panels are put on the roof and then you put a screw at the very edge of that panel and then the next panel comes and overlaps those screws so that you don't see them. And so it's a much more attractive look. We see this on, um, on higher end commercial buildings. You'll see it a lot as accents in residential subdivisions, the standing seam hidden fastener. You'll see it on an awning, um, maybe just a, a lower sloped patio or something like that. Very attractive, also uh, very expensive. And so uh, many homeowners love the look of that, but once they see the price tag, uh, you know, they, they, it, deters they, it, it deters them. Um, okay. yeah. you, you mentioned that um, metal roofs last longer than shingles. Why is that? Uh, so a couple of things. Number one, if there's a, if there's a wind factor, like I mentioned, uh, it's just, it's not gonna go anywhere for the most part. You'd have to have some, some tornadic activity usually to get uh, some uplift on that if it's installed correctly. <clears throat> Outside of that, it comes down to just withstanding the elements, Mother Nature. There's, there's, there's the wind and there's the, the rain and then there's hail and those, those systems can withstand hail better than shingles. Some shingles are catching up and doing a good job of that. However, uh, the biggest thing is just the sun and temperature changes and so as the UV rays beat down on both of these systems, they react differently. The asphalt shingle has a bunch of asphalt in it, right? You've got a protective layer of granules there, and over time, through weather, um, the asphalt will begin to expand and contract, and after it does that for a few years, some of those granules will leave, and then the asphalt becomes exposed to the sun, and then it'll alligator out, it'll dry and get brittle, all of that will start happening maybe 15 years into an asphalt uh, shingles life, and it may last to 25 or 30. Uh, on, the, on the metal system, it's not gonna do that. It doesn't have those same elements in its uh, manufacturing process. So it's basically a, a steel panel, but what protects that steel from rusting, which is the greatest liability to that system, is the coating that's applied. And metal roofing systems, some of the stuff we sell has either a 25 year or a 40 year warranty on that coating that's applied to the metal. So that's the protective layer. That's also what has the color in it if you choose to get a panel that has color. So it just does better in the elements and, uh, and it's not going to contract and shrink and break down like the asphalt shingle will. Okay, is there any maintenance for a shingle roof and a metal roof? Shingle roof, the only maintenance you have really is making sure the debris is off of your roof. If a lot of pine needles or tree debris collects into a valley or a lower sloped area off, off of a patio or something like that, well now you've got water accumulation, it's staying there. You, you wanna make sure there's no debris on the roof. Uh, on the metal system, you wanna do that same thing, but also if you have an exposed fastener system, your, your screws sometimes will, um, will go bad. And when I say go bad, there's, there's a rubber gasket that's around these screws. A lot of the older systems have this rubber gasket exposed. And over time, just like on the asphalt shingle system, that rubber gasket will, will start to dry rot. It'll get a little brittle. And, when, and that's what seals that screw to the roof and protects the water from getting in. So what happens over time with those systems, 15 or so years in, you may need to change out all of the screws. And that sounds simple, but it's not cheap. Metal roofs, especially if there's a pitch, because they are 
uh, slippery, it's a slow process. You have to make sure that screw gets put in the exact right way. You have to torque it. You can't, if you over torque it, it's a problem. If you under torque it, it's obviously a problem. And then it's got to be put straight in, you know, a little bit of tilt can be a problem. So a good job is, is going to take a little while and it's not going to be cheap. They do make uh, Zach screws, we call them now, that where the, the steel of the screw covers that rubber gasket and prevents it from dry rotting. So we're seeing less of that since those screws have been introduced into the market. That's the maintenance issue um, for the metal roof systems. Okay, do you have a preference between On, shingle and metal? They're, they're both great systems. I like them both. I, I, I say you, you, you take what the roof gives you. You take what the structure gives you. There's certain things that I would never put a metal roof on because it just it just wouldn't look right mm -hmm. to me. Um, I like something that looks nice, and there's a lot of homes that would just not look as nice without some asphalt shingle or shape shingle or something that was a little more homey mm -hmm. and warm feeling. Um, and then there's certain things, you know, like we're building out a new office and shop for our company right now, and it's got a real low slope roof. So it's a commercial building and a low slope roof. We're putting metal on that, an exposed fastener metal system on that. That's the right that's the right roof for that application. So it really depends uh, on what it gives you. I love standing seam roofs. I mean, most people that are in this business come to like them. They're very attractive. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, I like it in a residential application as an accent. It looks really good. You know, there's been a trend for a few years with this um, like farmhouse, farmhouse type type, mm -hmm. type deal, and you can you can everybody seeing these houses come up. They look really nice with standing mm -hmm. seam roofs. But you know, three thousand square foot uh, living area house with a garage and a big patio and all of that stuff. You might you might have that might be a fifty sixty plus thousand dollar roof oh, wow. system. So. It's a, it's a nice little build. Yeah. Love some great information. Thank you. Yep. Thanks for watching. If you have any other roofing related questions, check out our YouTube channel.